Hi everyone, uh, this is Jason Kang in Yedan Dental Hospital in Mokpo, Korea. Uh, today I'd like to tell you about uh, Dionabi Advanced Case Review. As you know, the last year, because of COVID-19, so all lectures and seminars has been suspended. So I should wait at home like you. But this year, with the help of Dio company, uh, I have a chance uh, Dio webinar week with online. The last June, I take a video at first, and this is third time. So I'm very happy to share with my results. This is my hospital. I've been here since 2001 as a director of uh, prosthetic and implant dentistry. Over uh, nine step and uh, 15 dentists worked together. From 2014, I've been interested in digital dentistry. Actually, my hospital divide into a special parts in the orthodontic treatment for children treatments and the root care therapy as you see this picture in 2014 i made a small uh, digital lab with one technician but now uh, more technician and more equipment so last year we moved more wider one so i made a short video by myself let's see At that time, uh, one technician and uh, several equipment, but last year we moved more wider one. With more equipment and uh, with technician. The milling machine also changed. So we work uh, dry work or uh, wet work, and also we have uh, several 3D printer from different company. The technician design uh, crown. Sometimes I design a guide by myself. So in every implant case. To make final procedures, my step scan the patient with the intraoral scanner. Nowadays, I use a 3S3 or 3S4. So all scan data delivered to a lab office and then technician design without model. Even a screw type procedures we can uh, design without model. This is screw type prosthesis. So, with this workflow, help us to a short treatment time, and uh, the result is also good. I think. So the Dio company is uh, most advanced technique they have and also like a for right video these days they uh, developed uh, UV activator with this UV activator the before plus implant the implant fixture is uh, activating within a 20 second so with a digital guide and the uh, 
UV fixture, we can get a good result than other. What is the advanced case? Uh, firstly, I think uh, sinus and uh, edentulous is most advanced case than others. So at this time, I deal with uh, these two topics, sinus and edentulous. First, uh, the sinus implant surgery. As you can see this picture, the left side is a conventional sinus surgery with a rotor window opening or a cluster, uh, cluster approach technique. But the right picture show you the flapless a cluster approach technique with hydraulic pressure and a digital program. On conventional science lifting technique has many side effects like the purpose is common side effects from small one to huge one. And the, the day after surgery, uh, big swelling and also some infection like that. So this uh, lateral window approach is hesitate as a general dentition. Many Korean companies introduce a special limo we call this a sinus reel. Actually, the sinus covered with one millimeter cortical bone. So with this limo, the grind and the, the grinded part is filed up between the cutting edge and the, even if uh, touch with the membrane, there's no tearing. So with this instrument, many general dentists, they like crest approach. So the sinus digital technique used this crystal approach and planless. So digital sinus implantation is possible, but how should we do it? Uh, let me tell you about. This is a sinus kit from Dio company. Uh, the kit involved in the sinus reel, different size sinus reel and the different size of stopper and uh, condenser or syringe. This kit uses hydro pressure. Actually, the hydro pressure is introduced by several researchers from 2005. So I used this technique the last 10 years actually. So when I do this technique, I use this material, bone material, bone mineral matrix plus collagen. They call it in Korea Equimatrix and uh, in USA, the bios collagen. This block type bone, after merging into saline, then change uh, sponge like. Sometimes, when you use a particle bone in sinus area, after rupture, even if they are ruptured, then particle bone is blocked. The entrance of uh, some middle meatus, the cause of sinusitis. But this sponge like bone is moved together so there are no uh, block the matrix entrance and sometimes if you use a PRF after cursed blood and then um, use a two different bottle one is silica and the other is uh, without silica then uh, you can make gel type bone or a membrane. The liquid applied to particle bone, then the particle bone chain sticky type and other butter is used to make to make a membrane like that. The particle bone chain sticky like that. If you want more sticky bone then I recommend to use a CGF and uh, this CJ from Italy, but I think it cost a lot than other centrifuges. Uh, let's look at the drilling protocol. The every protocol is set according to the the remaining bone height. Like this, a five millimeter remaining bone height. The four millimeter removed by a general drilling like that, and 
one millimeter cortical bone is removed by the sinus drill and applied hydraulic pressure, then opening the entrance, then grab with bone and place implant. But in case of two millimeter remaining bone case, uh, the one millimeter bone is removed with a general drilling or not. And then the other one millimeter bone is removed by a sinus drill and with hydraulic pressure and put the bone and place implant. But in like this thin case, you don't use abutment profile. Let's uh, look at clinical case. The left side uh, show you the old conventional uh, lift, but right side, the new nozzle is a small one they can use without remove guide. So when you do pull cases, the right side nozzle is better, I think. This is old case. The remaining bone is five, three, or two millimeter, maybe. Think so. At that time, I used old nozzle. To prepare for scanning, uh, the edential areas, partial edential areas, is need to attach marker. This marker help the exact merging between uh, intraoral data and the community data. Marker is attached with adhesive and then use intraoral scanner, then scan it. Intraoral scan data and the community, with community data, then uh, I designed the guide and implant studio. At this time, the mark have to get emerging and three implants plan and on a surgery day with this kit and a sea line and a guide. First, the teach, teach punch is used at first and then bone flattening drill used. Actually, this case is remaining bone height of five. So four millimeter remain by uh, four millimeter bone, remaining bone is uh, grinded by a general drilling with a stopper, and a one millimeter drill grinded by a sinus drill. But after you use this sinus drill, you when you apply the hydraulic pressure. But if you, you feel as a resistance, that means there are no grind perfectly. Then try use one millimeter longer one. So after grind out perfectly, then when you apply aspirate, then you can see a continuous plus beam. That means there are no tearing. On a blood test, Blow test, you also check their tearing or not. And the wider with one millimeter longer one, and then put bone. This is old node, the, the black bone. After merge with saline, then use. After final drilling in a guide and then a place fixture. So in most sinus cases is without load and immediately so I place picture with hand piece. So no need to align uh, set and offset hex. And after that, uh, 
cover with healing abutment and a weight. At that time, um, I wait five or six months conventionally, even if we use a guide. And after placement, I checked a panoramic view. But six months later, to make final prosthesis, I use a special scan method. When you use guide, all implant placed parallelly. Then I connect a stock abutment like that, or scan body. But even if you use stock abutment, it's no problem. Scan it. But actually, the margin of stock abutment is, is under tissue. But after scan it and on a digital program, the technician they can exactly check the exact margin. And without model, the technician design a final prosthesis. After make final prosthesis and they deliver to the clinic, the dentist use this crown and set without model. So before and after, You can see a uh, exactly fit, even a bridge. But this case is still used over five years without any problem. But I'd like to show you the new cases with a UV fixture, and also I used a special new nozzle. Actually, uh, the remaining height is the same. The remaining bone height is 5 mm, but with UV fixture, I can get a shorter heal time and a more convenient digital workflow to make final prosthesis. The remaining bone height is maybe 4 mm, but healing, total healing time is 3.5 months. So in an implant studio with uh, intraoral scan data and comic CT data, I designed a guide upper and lower at the same time. To take ISQ, uh, the digital guide is useful. With a sinus kit and a cell line guide, as I mentioned before, the drilling sequence is set according to the remaining bone height and suggested by the company in the program. And though after conventional drilling, then sinus still used to remove one millimeter cortical bone. And after remove it, and then apply hydraulic pressure. So when you are spraying it, uh, you can see a continuous plus beam. As you can hear, this new nozzle is applied without nozzle. and then widening the entrance and the bone graft. The black bone or some uh, jelly type is uh, help to prevent a sinusitis and you use this technique. And uh, people place 
a fixture, the I used a UV activator. It only takes 20 seconds. Then uh, place with hand piece and cover with healing abutment. So after placement, I took an uh, ice cube. The first molar is uh, 64. The second molar, is, second molar is the same. And on a common CT view, you can check uh, is there enough bone and the uh, membrane. In the lower first molar area is extracted area. So the after checking the ice cube, the at that time the 68 ice cube. The second one, second molar is enough. But every month I took ice cube, then I get uh, enough loading time over 75 number. Three months later. So three months later. I decide to make a final procedure. In the same case, the people, the same case, but the healing time is different. Nowadays, you don't have to wait longer, even in a sinus. If you use guide and UV fixture like that. The, to make final procedures at, at that time I used a scan body. On a dental system then a scan body matching to a uh, stock abutment and then a technician use this method and sometimes use a virtual articulator and after make final procedures and deliver to clinic. And uh, in clinic, the dentist choose uh, just stock abutment and set it. That's it. So simple and even if you can get a short healing time than before. But how to overcome the sinus perforation while using this technique? From small one to huge one. Laser divide uh, two type of perforation. The crest one is under two millimeter, but crest two is over two millimeter. But even a huge perforation within a six week, it completely here. So absolutely migrate at a rate of 0.5 mm per day. So even huge population occurred. But six weeks later, you can try again. So when I use this technique, I use, sometimes I use this mini curet. It's so useful. When applied hydraulic pressure, but sometimes the detaching of membrane is not enough, then I use this cure. This cure is useful to detach the membrane from bone. So how do you make this mini cure? I'll show you with this video. In every clinic, they have a surgical cure. Their size is different, but 3.5 millimeters better. So now for the fair, uh, flyer and torch and heat it and make acute angle with UV flyer and the both side have to make acute angle then you can use 360 degree it's so easy so with this uh, mini thread when you use a crystal upper technique, it's so useful. This is uh, detaching with this curette like this.
without tearing membrane. So I use this curate over 10 years actually. This is old video. At that time, uh, I used several small instruments, but the, the remaining bone is so thin. So when I open the plate and uh, try to lift, but uh, the perforation is occur. So the perforation area I cover with a uh, collagen material and suture it. And then wait six weeks later. Six weeks later, the common city, the membrane is thickening than before. The, with this cure, you can detach easily without tearing. Then graft and place implants. In, in this case, it's only six weeks delayed. At the place implant, I took ISQ. The ISQ was uh, 50, 62? Yeah, 62, and then suture it. Then wait, six months. On a common CT view, you can see us safely lifting the uh, grafts and membrane, and six months later, open it and took ISQ. Then I get over 85, enough load, and then final crown was set with custom abutment. This is old video. So I use this mini curate when I met uh, perforation. To prevent the perforation of membrane, uh, you should check the two points. One is hydraulic lifting. While hydraulic lifting, the checkpoint is negative pressure. So when you aspirate it, uh, if you see the continuous blood stream, then that means there are no perforation. Another checkpoint is you don't use abutment profile drill in seam bone cases. To get a primary stability in the remaining thin remaining bone, uh, you don't use abutment profile drill. Should use underside drilling, then you can get primary stability. So the recommended underside drilling protocol is like that. Under one millimeter remaining bone case, you don't use general drilling. Directly start with the sinus drill and bone graft and place without uh, use of abutment profile drill. And uh, between two and six millimeter, the general drilling and sinus drill bone graft placement. Even in that time, don't use abut of abutment profile drill. And over 7 mm, the general protocol is used. Then you can use abutment profile drill. Now, uh, let me show you how to manage the perforated membrane case. In a pre diagnosis, you can see a thin bone and a second more area. But with guide, I placed all implant. Then I found there are perforation here. I remove immediately and then wait six weeks later. Then I try again. So when you uh, remove picture or instrument immediately, when the perforation is occur, then you can see a small hole. On a blow test, you check the air movement between sinus and drawer cavity. Then cover with a uh, collagen material like that. But this punched tissue, how do you cover with tissue? At that time, uh, I recommend to use a number 15 uh, knife and do a semi lural incision in partly. Then, uh, partial sequence plate move to buckle and the tie, then you cover in a hole. Six weeks later, design plate, the plate moved to buckle. 
and then apply a hydraulic pressure or mini clip like that. After lifting the plate, then grab with bone and uh, place implant again with guide. Only six weeks delayed, and also this is part of full implant cases. Let's look at the uh, advanced implant surgery. This is a special kit in the DO company. This kit used in edentulous cases. So when you set edentulous guide to edentulous area, the bite is essential. So most cases use a body type silicon bite, and sometimes use a printed bite. With bite and you pick guide with a anchor screw, and then while drilling, you also use pick spin and the guide picks for their different offset. This is my edential cases from old one and the new one. This is old case, but I use it guide to place. A lot of implant in upper and lower case. This is another case. And uh, also all on six and four. And the unilateral cases all on six and all on four in the lower. To discuss the edentulous surgery, mm. I checked the two points. One is importance of free surgical diagnosis. Another point is uh, introduce the workflow of full arch case. With this free surgical diagnosis, you can decide the type of prosthesis. So as you grow older, the patients decrease their vertical dimension. So the purpose of recovery, you use a special method. And also you can meet even in edentulous there are enough bone or so thin bone loss cases and also unilateral cases like that. In a panoramic view, you can see a different body type than how should we do it. There are four options to treat this edentulous. One is fixed implant restoration and implant hybrid restoration. And sometimes you use over denture and implant assisted uh, removal partial denture. In a dangerous patient ca patients, you check extraoral or intraorally. The last nasolabial angle is extraoral checkpoint. Approximately, uh, approximately ninety degree as a viewed in profile so this is with this uh, natural labia angle you can uh, check the horizontal bone resorption but intraorally you should check the, the distance from uh, occlusal plane so if you want to use fixed uh, implant restoration the needed clearance is uh, 7 to 8 millimeter in hybrid type, at least six, 15 to 20 millimeter. When you apply an over denture, at least 10 to 15 millimeter needed. So this is vertical bone reception checking point. This case is from occlusal plane to resorption area, the seven to eight millimeter. So I decide a crown bridge fixed bridge type, like this. But the resorption in the occlusal clearance is over 15, then you can decide hybrid type or over dense. Conventionally, uh, the researcher has suggested to make hybrid type 
the patient need uh, 15 to 20 millimeter. Why? Two millimeters space for hygiene and uh, eight millimeter for metal framework and two millimeter acrylic and three millimeter two sides. So from the top of implant, 80 millimeters. So it need to be 50 millimeter space when you decide hybrid type. So sometimes to secure this space bone reduction is needed. But nowadays, uh, even in edentulous case, we use a zirconia and uh, multi-unit abutment. MUA is this uh, multi-unit abutment. Multi-unit abutment and housing or base is a metal height. This MUA have the different type, straight or, or angle, angle type like that. So this MUA from a different company, they have a own height. So the metal height is different from 4.3 to 8. So when you use this zirconia, uh, zirconia hybrid prosthesis with uh, MUA, then 10 millimeters not. So between conventional hybrid prosthesis and the zirconia hybrid prosthesis, the difference height is 5.6, almost 6. You already know about the strength of zirconia. If the zirconia thickness is over 2 to 3, then the strength is so strong over uh, 900 to 1,200 megaparsec. Sometimes uh, compression resistance is about 2,000 megaparsec. But even in zirconia hyperthesis, some practice occur. In there, the lack of thickness. So recommended thickness in occlusal area is over two to three millimeter, three millimeter, and the connect thickness over four to five millimeter. If you use a DO multi-unit abutment, the, it is need to be 11 millimeter space required. But from the occlusal plane, the remaining uh, gum is under 10. This is contraindication of multi-unit abutment. Why? The height and also need a uh, zirconia thickness. But in this case, the multi-unit abutment, is, you don't use this uh, multi-unit abutment. This is crown and bridge is better. With this surgical uh, diagnosis, we can decide the uh, number and position of implants. And you also decide a uh, forage type, bridge or Oronex, and even in bridge, then you also decide splinting or section. This is multiple, multiple place in crown bridge type, but confuse splinting or section. This is splinting cases, even in uh, seven implant, but splinting a total. Several years later, there is a gap, a separation between abutment and bridge, and also fractures occur in the middle area. So after all, these patients need uh, leave work of this final prosthesis. At that time, separate. In lower six implant placed and the splinting. But several years later, the bone resorption is occur. Why? Cause of flexion of mandible. So multiple cases, separate section is recommended, at least three pieces. But in case of 
uh, Aura 6 or Aura 4, always splinting is better. Why? The immediate loading or any, uh, there are no effect of uh, flexion of mandible. Okay, then uh, let's discuss about the workflow of four arch cases. There are three methods to get identity data. One is uh, patient impressed model and the splint, and others is use oral scan body and uh, patient old denture. Then uh, last, with the city with all denture, you can get a denture data. This is old case in uh, 2015. From occlusal to dentures, eight and seven remaining then, I decide bridge. So multiply, I placed implant with guide upper and lower, and the prosthetic data from patient all denture and with bimanual bi method. So before surgery, and then I plan eight in maxilla, and uh, uh, nine in maxilla and eight in mandible. So when the first came my clinic, the patients need all extracted the remaining, remaining tooth. But after extraction, then I wait two months later. Why? I do immediate loading at first in lower. So after place implant in lower, then I load immediately. And then upper place. Both sinus involved, so I wait at six months. Then I complete it. Then this patient still use without any problem over five years. First came here and it dangerous and complete. And the uh, second case is uh, I'd like to tell about the prosthetic worker flow with H scan body and uh, double scanning method. This is only the deal company they have special H scan body. Okay, uh, let's see. After place and after the integration with H scan body and the patient all danger have a good uh, data with a light body light silicone body and then take impression with patient all denture then I scan inside and outside of denture with intraoral scanner this all denture to help to get a patient into arch relationship or vertical dimension at the same time With the digital program, uh, the inside image convert, convert into outside. On a dental system, then each scan body match like that. With this matching, we know where the implant is placed. Then, a custom abutment designed and uh, connect with a temporary so in clinic try with custom abutment temporary but I guess there are misfits between the uh, custom and the temporary so how correct it you can see a misfit between custom and temporary then I list scan after connect custom to fixture, like a conventional technique, we use intraoral scanning again. Then also 
we can get interarchic relationship with the temporary bridge the lead design new temporary until that the patient use uh, just temp old temporary then new temporary is a good fit they have a good fit then this design to change the final then the temporary bridge change the final zirconia like that even in full arch workflow it's simple when you use this edge scan body and patient all danger in the third case uh, the patient want uh, immediate load why we in this case is she's hard eating food and bite but the uh, plum occlusal plane the remaining uh, residual bone is so close on the five millimeter so this is case uh, to lead up of remaining bone so this line is need to clearance of 11 millimeter but she want immediate load so after extraction then I take impression on model I make splint involved marker on implant studio I position implant on a reducted line this is a bone reduction line and on a surgery day, I place implant and also I use UV fixture. After place, then I open the flap, then lid up, grind the interior and the suture it. The two weeks later, I connect uh, MUA directly and uh, connect housing. When I connect housing to multi unit abutment, I adjust height and scan it with intraoral scanner the occlusal relationship when i take occlusal relationship i use a splint and the three weeks later after surgery i made final procedures like that then i connect the delay loading so before and after you can use this uh, full case with this technique. This is a routine autumn four cases in our hospital. In my hospital, so the four implant plan with uh, delay loading. Okay, see this movie. I took impression and make model to make splint. The splint help to merging, direct merging. So involve marker is help to merging. And also I used a pre-designed digital wax up. Pre-designed digital wax up is useful when you decide uh, implant position and uh, when you make a final procedure. This pre-designed dino works up and with this I design guide and plan implant. At the same time ready made uh, Bridge is used. After place the implant and check ISQ. Eventually, cases if the over a 70, then I load immediately and then connect a multi unit abutment at the same time. When you connect multi unit abutment, then the three, 30 newton, 30 newton centimeter. And when you connect housing to multi unit abutment, 20. 
uh, Newton sentiments recommended then again I scan it the patients or in the arch relations I can get from the splint The to check a fitness first after design the final procedures then after that I print it and try the individual housing is match to internal scan data on dental system we call this as a thermal scanning method and then final design when design final procedures, pre-design digital wax is used again. This is help to as a technician they save the time. The pre printed temporary two days after surgery, then apply and check if they are exactly fit or not. Then why using this temporary hybrid then zirconium final bridge is, is made and then next change it so three months later there are no problem this is a routine uh, workflow in my clinic like that Okay, uh, from sinus to advance, uh, I'll show you my cases. I use this digital guide and uh, fix, UV fixture. Then uh, all the workflow for final process is so simple. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for your attention. And if you have some question, use this mail. Then I reply to you. Thank you very much.